Welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to discuss about principal sources of code optimization. Code optimization is simply to improve the code such that the output of the program could run fast and save the space simply removing some unnecessary lines of the code we are improving the performance of the program that is called code optimization now principal sources means for optimizing the code we are using different ways so the different ways that are used for optimizing the code are called principal sources among them the first one is common sub expression elimination so the name specify common sub expression elimination simply you are writing a program for example if one expression is calculated assume if the expression is repeated one more time in the program generally what we are doing the expression is already calculated instead of recomputing simply we are using already calculated value that means elimination of recomputation common sub expression if an expression is common then we are eliminating such type of expression common sub expression elimination consider one example suppose a is equal to some b plus c and some b is equal to a minus d now e is equal to some b plus c some f is equal to a minus d here observe the common sub expressions by our understanding b plus c here we are already calculated b plus c sir here also b plus c is occurred instead of writing this b plus c directly if you are writing a but understand the problem blindly we are not eliminating here b plus c okay but before this one the value of b is changed so this is not a common sub expression common sub expression means if it occur another time in between the values of the variables are not changed here observe a minus d here also a minus d from this statement to this statement the values of a and d are not updated so this is common sub expression now what is the optimized code a is equal to b plus c b is equal to a minus d e is equal to b plus c f is equal to b only clear instead of recomputing already the computed and stored in b simply assign b now we eliminated this is common sub expression now second procedure that is the second source for code optimization is copy propagation copy propagation the copy propagation is occurred in two variations one is variable propagation second one is constant propagation either variable propagation or constant for example i have a term x is equal to pi a is equal to x into r into r now this is my code how do we optimize the code how do we optimize the code simply a is equal to pi into r into r so here unnecessarily we are using the variable x 
So copy propagation in the sense. For example, if you have an assignment of the form f is equal to g throughout the program instead of f directly use g, then automatically there is no use of f remove. See this one. If you are this code, if you are optimize this code, then what is the use of x? Simply the x variable is eliminated. That means one variable is eliminated means the code is optimized, saving some memory. This is called variable optimization. That is variable propagation. Constant propagation in the sense, for example, x is equal to 3, y is equal to x plus z. If this is the format and how to optimize y is equal to 3 plus z, then what is the use of x? Simply we are removing x. Whenever we have a constant, directly place the constant here. These are called copy. So we are copying the statements, whether it is a variable or whether it is a constant. In such place, directly we are using this one. Then we optimize the code. This is called copy propagation now next one is dead code elimination dead code elimination what is mean by dead code suppose you are writing some program within the program if some code is unreachable that means if the code is not executed during the program execution, we are executing the program any number of times. If some particular code is not executed and there is no use of such code, that is called dead code. Clear? If there is no use of one particular piece of code and if that code is never executed, that is called dead code. If there is no use, then what is the use of writing that one? Simply, such a type of unnecessary code is removed. That is called dead code elimination. I will give you some one example. If directly within the main, for example, uh, assume one statement, x is equal to 2. If x greater than 2, printf high else printf hello observe if this is my program what happened i initialize x is equal to 2 if x greater than 2 if this condition is true or false any number of times you are executed the program this condition always false why I already given x value is equal to 2. This condition is never executed. Directly we are moving into the else block. Even you are executing 1 lakh number of times. Now this is called dead code. Simply we are eliminate the code. How? Main x is equal to 2. Printf. Hello program is completed. Code is optimized without checking any condition. Why? Always else is executed. What is the use of executing else? This is optimized code. Dead code is eliminated. Or else, for your understanding, I will give you one more example. Uh, for example, I have one function add whatever it is. Here I am doing some operation. A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3, C is equal to A plus B. Print of C value and return some c. Here what happened? First it takes the values, perform addition operation, printing the value and then it returns the value c. Each and every statement is executed properly. For example, for example, return c printf percentage d comma c. Whenever a return statement is executed, that means we are returning to the calling function. Once you return to the calling function, this statement never execute. You remember that one? 
any statement that is written after the written is not executed even you are executing any number of them this statement is not executed this is called dead code now dead code elimination simply removal of this code now the program executed perfectly clear the point this is called dead code elimination okay now next one constant folding constant folding means if you have any expression is available immediately evaluate the expression and from the expression place directly write down the evaluated value simple thing suppose x is equal to 2 into 3 y is equal to x plus some k if this is the statement now how to optimize the code first x is equal to write down as 6 x is equal to 2 into 3 wherever x appears instead of writing 2 into 3 directly write the value 6 like this so expression is evaluated for example for your understanding i will give you one more uh, a is equal to 22 by 7 into r into r here this is one calculation now how do we optimize the code a is equal to 3.14 into r into r clear the point if you have any expression evaluate the expression and everywhere instead of expression directly place the value that means it reduces the number of expression evaluations if it reduces means the performance is increased okay next one code motion code motion means moving the code so this is used inside a loop for example if you consider a loop inside a loop if you are writing some statement suppose if the statement does not depends on the loop then you are writing that particular statement outside of the loop you are not understanding see one example for example for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus uh, for example x is equal to 10 here directly i am printing the value of i here the loop is executed 10 times even though the loop is executed 10 times all the 10 times these two statements are executed and for all the 10 times the value of x is equal to 10 here this is called loop invariant so this one does not depends on the loop yes or no here this one depends on the loop by each and every time the value of i vary but this statement does not depends on the loop even though it does not depends on the loop we are executed all the 10 times the wastage of execution time code motion means simply we are moving the code outside of the loop but the code does not depends on the loop so how do this is the program how do we optimize simply remove this one and write the statement here now only one time is executed instead of executing 10 times instead of executing 10 times next one is induction variable elimination induction variable elimination induction variable elimination in the sense within the program unnecessary variables are removed you have to remove the unnecessary variables that occur within the program now see one example i1 is equal to 0 i2 is equal to 0 for example for i is equal to 1 or else directly i am writing some while loop sorry 
for i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 10, i plus plus. Here within this one we are writing a of i1 plus plus is equal to b of i2 plus plus. Here my program, understand my program, a loop is repeated 10 times. Each and every time i1 plus plus i2 plus plus. i1 value 0, i2 value 0. Next time i1 value 1, i2 value 1. 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. Each and every time the loop is repeated. In the same iteration. So instead of writing two variables, instead of writing two variables, here I am reducing this one. How? For example, i is equal to 0. a of i is equal to b of i. So, we are removing these two variables. Clear the point? Induction variable means unnecessary variables are removed. Now, similarly, b0 is copied to a0. b1 copied to a1. Okay? Now, the last one is strength reduction strength reduction in the sense consider operators some operators has higher strength than other operators if higher strength in the sense it takes maximum time it takes more time for computation so then what we have to do that you have to replace higher strength operators with lower strength operators for example Multiplication has higher strength than addition. We have an example x is equal to 2 into x. If this is an expression or y is equal to whatever it is, we are replacing this one y is equal to x plus x. You got my point? Multiplication has a higher strength compared to addition. So, Higher strength operation is replaced with lower strength operator or else we can replace this one also x left shift by one time for each and every left shift the value becomes double these are the different sources for optimizing a code but in any way whatever the technique or whatever the procedure you are using we are optimize the code the performance is increased but the output of the program never changes. The output of the program never changes. Okay. Thank you.